Hey folks, Ellie here. I've uh, been asked to look at gold and silver stocks. Cool, we'll look at those. Uh, but at the same time, you can't look at those stocks unless you at least look at the, the, the underlying you know, gold and silver itself. I'll just use the GLD, that's what everybody's familiar with. You know, you keep hearing that gold has hit all-time highs over 2,500, blah, 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 right? They're talking about the futures, and, they're, and that futures contract in December, so it hasn't been discounted to present time. So if you really think about it, you know, it's not really like it's at all-time highs. Yeah, the futures contract is, but not, not, not the, you know, if you had a cash value. No, that isn't. And, and what do you see on the charts, right? I mean, that's what's important. So let's, let's go here. This is the weekly. You know, here's your here's your high, right? There's the range. You know, what is it doing? It's still trading inside the range, right? You tried to break out. You got this push right here and again there, right? But it's unable to break out. If you can't break it out, what are you going to do? You're probably going to come back down to the lows. And so, you know, if you're just looking at gold itself, it's in a range. If you move over to silver, let's get the silver contract. It's in worse shape. Right, because it hasn't been able to get up there and break out again. So these things are long-term bullish, don't get me wrong, but they're not breaking out. Silver was up here, it was holding this range, and then it gave it up. What's it doing? It's coming back to do a retest region. Where are the buys going to be? Well, back here on this retest region. This is where you're going to find the buys, right? You got three swing point highs broken out right here, this bar, right? This This one right here. And then what they do, they stay up there more than six bars. When it comes back to here, it's a sweet buy, right? So that price point, you can look at it on your charts, but that price point is about 23.37 is the high. The bottom of that's 22 roughly, excuse me, 20, yeah, 22. Probably not going to get very deep. So I'd say maybe 23, 23.20 or something. Uh, we're trading today at 24.30. I'm doing this on August uh, 7th. So that's the setup, right? So essentially, you got a long-term range, not a long-term, you got an intermediate term, weekly range has been taking place on silver is broken down. On gold is still holding. Gold's probably gonna hold, continue to hold. Okay, so that's the backdrop. Now let's just go look at the stocks. I'll just take GDX, I'll take the four. I'll take the, the primary two and the, and the secondaries. In other words, being the juniors versus the, the largers. So here's GDX. Let's start with the long term. What has it done? It broke out on this bar, right? This is the retest regen. It's in there doing the retest regen right now. When you come back the first time, you can expect you're going to get about two thirds of the way down. That's somewhere down here. So it's probably around 32. Let's just call it. That's on the monthly. Let's go to the weekly. If we look at the weekly, what did they do? They broke out. They're also retest regening. Where's their price point? I'd say conservatively about 35. So that's where they're at. Where are they trading at now? 36.48, so buck and a half off. And if you go to the daily, what have they done? Well, they actually had a retest regen here that failed right there, right? And that tells you that more than likely you're in a range. So when it pops back up here, if you're holding it, if you know it's probably in a range, right? The odds are high that it's probably in a range, you probably need to sell some. And then when it comes back deeper, you can think about something. Now you're coming back into a retest region here. And again, look at this. This hasn't been tested in more than six bars. And what does it do? It comes down, that was Monday on the open, comes down, gets a nice pop off retest region. In other words, it should very high probability it's going to bounce. That's exactly what it did. Now what is it doing? Bearish engulfing today as I'm talking. It's about an hour to go before the close. What is it probably going to do? It's going to do what we're talking about here on the weekly. It's going to come down and test into uh, these lows. Oh, I actually missed something here on the weekly. My, my, my bad. This is the retest region and we're actually sitting right at the bottom of it now so we've already come all the way back done a full retest region that that sets up the possibility this is going to fail this week don't know that it will but possibility you won't know that until friday's close which would bring you back into these retest regions they've been tested before which means you're probably going to get deeper which is down about this area let's just take the bottom of that bar 31 it's got good volume 31.71 
and go back over here what did we call this uh we called this one about 3178 well there's your number folks that's the gdx this is not a buy until you get the retrace and remember gold itself silver itself gold is in a range of the intermediate time frame silver is already broken out of that range and come back to do a retest regen when they get down there they're probably going to get a bump right the underlying which potentially could give a bump to the stocks but the stocks also trade off what the market's doing if you go look at the market the market is in intermediate term range as well in other words it's not going anywhere fast so this is not trades you have to like you know go out and grab as quickly as you can because they're not going to go away they're still going to be there it's probably going to take a while for them to develop and to allow you to uh, trade them this is the uh, gdxj which is the juniors got the breakout here coming back bottom of that's 39.13 this retest regen already failed looks like it failed back here uh, prior week 43.70 was the close the low was 43.78 so this this had already you know because these are much more volatile right this had already failed right there on the retest region when you fail a retest region that says you that what was up is now sideways right more than likely it's sideways and depending on which way the break goes you're probably going to go test the next swing point in this case it's a swing point low because it broke down and that's what we're doing we're testing it where's the buy on these well look at this back here you got retest regions back here never been tested i don't think let's look at that one 39.88 39.70 so they haven't been tested more than six bars so on the gdxj you can expect a bounce out of this area that area more than likely doesn't get deeper on the first try than about I mean it could get deeper just like we saw on the other one but it probably looks like about 38 I'd say about 38 anywhere from 38.50 to 38.80 okay so that's the setup on the GDXJ let's go look at the silver miners oops not silver but uh, uh, where is uh, SIL uh, don't look like I have it in here let's stick it in here SIL I believe this that's the uh, silver miners if I remember right and let's see what that is yeah this is the miners and you can see here you got a retest regen on the monthly and it's doing a full retest regen right now and that's that's not very good actually um, and if we go over to here you're back into the retest regen so Here's another one of those, not more than six bars, right? So more than likely, this should get a bounce out of here. But given what we see elsewhere in silver itself, and this, this is going to be bearish retest regions on the bounce, I don't think this bounce is going to carry very far. Yeah, I expect it to bounce. How far? Not very far. And so I, I wouldn't consider it a great buy. And if I look at the uh, juniors, they're probably going to be worse. And I don't have that in here, so let's stick that one. S I L J, I believe, and see what that one looks like. Oh, and folks, you know, while I'm waiting on this, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't left comments, if you want me to talk about something, which is what prompted this video, give me a comment. Give me a comment on how I'm doing. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Help me out help yourself out help others out that don't know about me yet okay here's the silver doing a, a retest regen off of this swing point high uh if we go over here it's doing it's, it's, so this is the exact same setup as what we just talked about probably gets a bounce probably doesn't bounce far so that's the setup big picture here the stocks market right equities in general they're in a range they were in a, a short-term range now they're bleeding into an intermediate term range it's probably going to take a, a several several i wouldn't say several months probably several weeks to get out of this range up or down right now you have to assume it's consolidation range it's possible that it could be something more right it's possible let me go up here and pull up a chart as i finish that it could be distribution range and that that takes time uh, but that's possible 
and I'll take I'll take the the one that's leading everything, the NDX. If you if you look at the NDX, right, long term, this thing's bullish. I mean, there's no other way to look at it. It's bullish, but it's coming back into a retest region. Probably going to get there before this is over. Here's here's the uh, the weekly, right? Came into a retest region. It's trying to hold it. Doesn't have to hold it because it's the second test. Here's the breakout. Here's the first test. Here's the second test. Second test, your probabilities are less than 50%. So this could very well break this retest region. And even, even more importantly, it, it's set up to break the low. And so what is that going to do? That what was up is probably going to be sideways at best. And that's where we're at. That's what these markets are doing. And it's not in here, not only here, it's starting to happen everywhere. Here's your uh, uh, S&P 500, right? Take a look at it. What is it doing? It's trying to break the swing point low, right? The swing point low is right there. It's trying to hold, but it may break. What, what my guess is what's going to happen is the mega caps are going to drive the index far enough to where probably they break. But we're going to bounce from there again, right? And the other things are not going to break their swing point lows, but they're going to need to, which means you're going to bounce and you're going to come right back. And so that's the setup. And with that setup, that's going to keep most everything from going up in terms of equities, including silver and gold miners. Okay, hope that helps. Take care.